Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to start this episode by apologizing to you and to the YouTube community simply because my last episode got deleted from YouTube. Uh, I was heading to my meeting with my friends and uh, while I was driving on the background, Jay-Z was rapping and he was cursing. <laughs> And instead of me being a responsible member of the society and saying, no, Jay-Z, this is not cool, I sang with him. So I understand I violated the terms and conditions of YouTube, so I understand why it got deleted. I was a little bit pissed off because when I upload my videos, I, uh, what I do is I, I wait 24 hours uh, after I upload the file. And if everything is fine, I, I erase the file. The video got deleted after 48 hours, so I didn't have the file to edit it and re-upload it and it was a really sad moment, but it's okay YouTube, I really understand and I want to apologize for cursing on my videos and also to you guys, if you didn't get a chance to see my last episode and you really wanted to see it, ah, that's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. Uh, in this video, we have super cute DIY project. Uh, Two days ago, I uploaded this photo on my Instagram uh, because a couple of days ago, you know this wall hanging with the uh, moon faces? I really wanted one and I check on Etsy, they have beautiful, beautiful ones. But the one that I liked, it was $150, so I'm like, uh, no. And, um, and I'm like, okay, let me go uh, to Michael's and I'll buy some stuff. And I'll, I bought some paper and chain and jump rings and, and pretty cool uh, gold and silver foil. And I was like, let me try and let me see what can I do. And uh, I made this little hanging wall hanging and it was pretty cute. It looks super cute in my bedroom. I really liked it. So I uploaded it in my story on my Instagram. And I asked you guys if you guys want to see this DIY project on my channel. So you guys, you guys said, yay, we want to see it. So here I am, I'm making uh, wall decorations on my channel. But before that, before that, let's continue with our beautiful tradition and the crystal of the week. The crystal of this week is smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is one of the most powerful crystal tool for energy transformation. It holds a similar magic properties as its uh, cousin amethyst, but where the amethyst goes high, the smoky quartz goes deep. This dark crystal swiftly moves negative energy out of your aura, carrying them deep into the ground for grounding and trans and trans tra transmutation carrying them deep into the earth for grounding and transmutation smoky quartz makes a phenomenal uh, meditation partner as it is simultaneously stabilizing and consciousness expanding follow your intuition as adding one smoky quartz to your uh, meditation practice Popular uses include placing a crystal on your lower spine, in between your thighs, or placing a crystal touching the sole of each foot. If you don't have meditation practices, taking a nap with this crystal in bed with you will work rejuvenating miracles. Had a stressful day? Try a smoky soak. Uh, place two point crystals on each side of your bathtub pointing at you and if you want extra relaxation just drop some um, rose quartz into your water and you will feel absolutely amazing after this bath, I promise you. I hope you guys enjoyed this crystal. Uh, me personally, I ordered one yesterday. <clears throat> oh, that's voice is kind of sexy. I ordered one yesterday. Did you? Now let's let's start with our DIY project and our moon faces wall hanging. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, I'm gonna start our DIY project by showing you all the tools and materials that you're going to need for it. Uh, for this project, you'll need a foil paper. It's a little bit thicker than a regular paper. I bought all my materials from Michaels. Hello there. 
I bought all my materials from Michaels so if you go on a scrap paper section you'll be able to find this paper uh, also we'll need a set of scissors, pliers, pencil this spiky tool, I'm not sure what's the name of it that you have to make holes with it you'll need some gold chain or of course silver if you want to do the silver version of this um, uh, wall hanging and some jump rings oh and of course also a glue I'm sorry if you guys hear my uh, phone vibrating I'm gonna stop right now okay and glue this is it yeah so let's get started okay guys the first thing okay some focus thank you uh, the first thing we need to do is draw our moons and our parts on our uh, paper and for this project we'll need to make one full moon two half moons and sorry my drawing skills are not so amazing and uh, two quarter moons whoops now if you can do that by hand that's great but i'm so bad at this as you can see so i'm gonna use a little help by my <laughs> brazilian <laughs> boom boom cream i think the top of the cream is the perfect size for this project perfect size circle so also if you want you can use a big size glass if you have at home or um, also you can go online and download circles and use them as a template whatever works for you guys so i'm gonna just Go ahead and start drawing my moon. Oops. Start drawing my moons. After we're done drawing our moon parts, what we need to do is get another circle, a smaller than the one that we use for our moons, and make two more of those. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need this for in a second. The small circles are going to be this little part here at the bottom. Now what we have to do is cut out our uh, parts. Okay guys, we cut our pieces, now the next step is to match them and glue them together. After you glue your pieces together, if you have access paper like I do here, just grab your scissors, scissors I'm sorry, and cut it off. It's not a big deal. Okay guys, after gluing our pieces together, what we need to do is make little holes for our jump rings on both sides of each moon. And for that, we're gonna need our little spiky tool here. And I don't measure anything, I do it on by eye, it's not a big deal, even if it's a little crooked, it's actually even prettier. Keep in mind that the little part here is going to be hold only from one side, so you're going to need only one hole on the smallest piece. We're going to put our pieces on the side for a little bit because what we have to do now is cut our chain. We're going to need one, two, three, four short pieces of chain. They're going to be approximately three inches each. Mm -hmm. 
and what we need now is to cut a longer chain for the bottom part of our wall hanging and the top part with the hanger so the longer chains they're gonna be approximately 8 inch each and that's we're gonna use this last part for a hanger which is approximately 7 inches all right the next step is to attach our jump rings to our um, chain and after that to our pieces Okay guys, we attach our pieces together. So the last thing that we need to do is this part right here. I'm gonna show you now really quickly how to do that. Okay, we've put everything together. Our little piece is ready. I think that's a really cute uh, DIY gift if you want to make a small gift to somebody um, it's great for Christmas now Christmas is coming you all know or a Hanukkah whatever you guys celebrate it and also if you want to make this even personalized more personalized you can add a little stone here you could glue it with a glue um, the birdstone of the person you're giving this uh, wall hanging to or maybe write something little here there are billions of variations how you can personalize this gift but I think it's great. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Now let's check out how this beauty looks inside my home. Mm -hmm.